Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin with what appears to be more promising news about another vaccine being developed to prevent COVID-19, the second in a week to exceed expectations. Moderna says preliminary data shows the vaccine it is testing is 94.5% effective. It requires two shots, 28 days apart, and it does not need ultra cold storage, making it easier to distribute. Pfizer's vaccine, which showed 90% effectiveness in early results, also requires two doses, but it must be stored at minus 70 Celsius. Canada has pre-ordered tens of millions of doses from both Moderna and Pfizer. This does not mean that either of those vaccines is approved for use. The clinical trials aren't complete, and there is still much more data to be analyzed. Questions still remain, including how long either vaccine would protect you. But it is promising news as we head into a dark winter. Carolyn Jarvis has our top story tonight. The moment we learned, I ended up with a grin from ear to ear, um, you know, incredibly excited. Uh, I put myself on mute and yelled that excitement out. Early results from Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine exceeded even its own expectations at 94.5% effective. A vaccine now in phase three of clinical trials, which involves 30,000 people. But while Moderna may be celebrating, experts say we don't know enough just yet. I think we have to really bring it back down to planet Earth for a second and see exactly what they mean. We don't actually have the data. This is really a press release. So, you know, at, at the surface, it looks very promising, but I think we should approach this with cautious optimism. The study isn't done. These are not the final results. Moderna's vaccine, like Pfizer's, is using what's called an mRNA approach. It's a new type of vaccine that's never been approved for use in people. mRNA vaccines take the genetic code from a virus and use it to provoke an immune response. To answer the demand for its vaccine, Moderna has set up two manufacturing centers. One based in Switzerland uh, for uh, satisfying our commitments to Canada and one obviously in the United States for satisfying the United States. So they do not directly compete um, and we wouldn't expect there to be any uh, waiting in line behind Americans. But first comes approval. Health Canada is already reviewing data from phase one and two of Moderna's clinical trials. The full data set from phase three should be submitted in the coming weeks. What we're really focusing on currently is to make sure that we analyze the data that come out um, uh, efficiently. And we really want the Canadian population to know that we are not cutting corners. If the data supports this vaccine, it will still be months before all Canadians receive it. In the meantime, the health minister cautions, we have to remain vigilant. Despite the fact that there's light at the end of the tunnel, we have dark months ahead of us. And that if we want to protect our, the lives of the people that we love, if we want to protect our own wellness, that we can have to continue with the public health measures. Carolyn Jarvis, Global News, Toronto.